Right now it is time for us to check uh, racing in sports, and that means it's time to bring in Mike Cosi. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. Is it a busy weekend in racing this weekend? No, but it's better than last weekend. <laughs> That's right. Anything probably. Yeah, it's not, it's, it's not the busiest time of year yet, right? No, it is now. I mean, last weekend there was a lull in the three-year-olds because I don't know why. It's just the way the schedules fell. But from now on till the Derby, or I guess until the Derby trial, if they still call it that, at Churchill Downs, we should have a three-year-old race from now on out. All right, well, let's take a look at your picks uh, for, for this weekend. Yeah, tomorrow's the Louisiana Derby. Uh, post time for that is about quarter to six, no, quarter to seven Eastern time. Um, not a big field, only nine horses line up, but um, it's a pretty decent field. Um, four horses to me look like speed in this race. The two Zozos, trained by Brad Cox, uh, won a hundred thousand dollar claiming race last time out at Oaklawn by ten lengths. Uh, the six uh, Epicenter, which is going to be the seven to five morning line favorite. This horse won the Gun Runner, going a mile and sixteenth at Fairgrounds. Ran second in LeCompte and won the Risen Star by two, and that was about a month ago. Uh, the seven Pioneer of Medina, trained by Todd Pletcher. Uh, this horse ran fourth in the Risen Star to Epicenter. It had speed that day and has shown speed. And the eight, Galt. Um, the eight shipping in from, from Gulfstream. This horse ran in a fountain of youth. Um, there was a spill. There was uh, a uh, questionable ride by a jockey in that race that cut a couple horses off, and two of them went down. Galt was one of them. Um, this horse was making a move from the back of the pack in that race, which was strange for this horse to be in the back of the pack uh, because this horse had shown speed previously. So you got four out of the nine horses that I'm anticipating are going to be pushing each other. Um, to me, sets it up for a closer. And I'm looking at the nine rattle and roll to get that trip in this race on, on Saturday. Um, this horse was also involved in that spill. Didn't go down, but when this horse started to make a move off of the turn, the horse had to be stopped. And it doesn't even say it in, in, in the running line, which the race in form, the price keeps going up and you get less and less information. Um, this horse was in that race and was, was slowed down by the spill. I think this, race gets a, this horse gets a nice trip tomorrow. Um, I thought McPeak was going to go to the Bluegrass off of the Fountain of Youth race in Florida um, because this horse won the Breeders' Futurity at Keeneland last time in a big, big way. So I thought he'd wait another two weeks and run in that race. But him going to Louisiana and running this race, telling me this horse is ready to roll, um, is coming off of a nice bullet work at Gulfstream about a week and a half ago. So rattle and roll is going to be my top pick in the Louisiana Derby. And I'm going to use the other horse involved in that melee down in Gulfstream Park, the eight horse, Galt. And I'm going to use the favorite, uh, the six horse, Epicenter, to round out my try. So the nine and the nine with the eight and the six is going to be my plays in the Louisiana Derby. All right. And that's what we have for this weekend? That's it. All right. It heats up and there'll be more next weekend? Yeah. 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 You know, uh, uh, an interesting story on Gulfstream Park, which has, has reached the dregs of society lately, in my opinion. Um, outriders are supposed to clear the turf track or any part of the track prior to a race if there's any kind of foul on it, meaning ducks or whatever. Um, on Wednesday, I didn't see the race because I don't really play Gulfstream that much anymore. It's how bad it is. Um, they started a race on the turf, and on the first turn was a goose and a flamingo. And the horses ran right over the goose and the flamingo. What was the outrider doing, betting basketball? <laughs> I mean, that's his job, to clear the turf. And these two birds were trampled and killed. I mean, there's no, there's no, there's no room for that in racing. Um, it's the outrider's job to ride down the track and clear the track of any obstacles, meaning birds, on it prior to a race. Um, nobody's saying anything about it. Well, maybe that you brought it up now. Maybe people will. It's it's pitiful. It's absolutely pitiful. There's yeah. no there's no reason for that to happen. All right. Where's Peter? They out there. Uh, they're out there banging the drums when horses break down. How come they're not saying anything about this? I I, I think I think that, that's exactly what I'm thinking about. Maybe that you're bringing it to light. People will find out about it, and Peter and other animal rights will will we'll, we'll get will get will get on. I don't know who the outrider is, but he should be fired. He or she, whoever it is. All right, Mike. We'll check with you next weekend. You got it, guys. Have a nice week. Take care. 
taking a look at uh, sports uh, of other sorts, uh, we can take a look at uh, what's going on in the NCAA's absolutely mayhem. Uh, all the top seeds are getting bounced out. Arkansas uh, defeated top seed Gonzaga. Uh, they're now gone from the NCAA tournament, the men's uh, tournament. Uh, also, um, uh, I think another one, uh, another number one seed also uh, has been bounced out. I've just got to scroll down and find it here. Uh, and uh, we'll see what happens here. Yeah, uh, Duke beat Texas Tech. Uh, so Coach K in his final year goes to another Elite Eight. Uh, Houston knocked out number one seed Arizona uh, in their game. Uh, absolutely an amazing, amazing look at what's going on in in sports uh, when it comes to the NCAA's, and that's what makes the NCAA tournaments so amazingly fun to watch is uh, when you have these big upsets. And all of a sudden, all you know, most of the number one seeds are gone. It really opens up the brackets. Uh, that fire that took place uh, at Mile High Stadium uh, was brought under control uh, by the fire department. Uh, it was a fire yesterday. Um, it affected the suite area and a portion of the third level seating area. Um, according to the fire department, the pictures of it were pretty amazing. Uh, and... Uh, it's, it's you know so they they really did contain it and uh, congratulations to those firefighters all right let us take a look uh, at scores let's go to the NBA uh, yesterday and see what happened there no local action in the NBA yesterday coming up today in the NBA we have the Knicks taking on the heat at 8 p.m. tomorrow in the NBA the local actions that will happen uh, Nets will take on the heat at 8 p.m. And uh, then on Sunday, the Knicks take on the Pistons and the Celtics take on the Timberwolves. So that is the NBA action coming up for today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Let's move now on to the National Hockey League. In games that took place yesterday, the Boston Bruins defeated the Tampa Bay Lightning 3-2. to The Islanders over the Red Wings by a score of 5-2. to Coming up today, the Rangers take on the Penguins at 7 p.m. And tomorrow, the Bruins take on the Islanders at 12.30 in the afternoon. The Devils take on the Capitals at 7 p.m. tomorrow evening. And on Sunday, the Rangers take on the Buffalo Sabres, and the Islanders will take on the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, those are the upcoming hockey games uh, in our uh, for our local teams. And that is a check on sports and also Mike Cosby taking a look uh, in the beginning at this weekend's racing picks here on Robin Hood Radio.